Hello and welcome to step number two in the Cheat Engine tutorial game. So in this series we've already gone over the entire basic tutorial and we're playing the, the game that's built in now and we're building a proper cheat table where we don't need to find values every time we start the game but we can just attach a cheat table and activate our scripts and immediately play through the game and win. So in step number two here there's two enemies. Uh, they can both shoot me at the same time. I can only shoot one. They have way more health. And yeah, as you can see, you can hold space, but you barely do any damage before you die. So what we can do here, uh, first thing we do is we'll try and find our health. So we need somewhere to start. And now we have 92. And that is most likely our health. Yeah. So you can double click that, same as the previous one. We just want to find out what rights to it. Okay, so it subtracts EDX, which will be two because they each do two damage from RAX, which is our base, plus 60. So we can show that in disassembler. Same as the last video, we will uh, immediately want to just create a template for AOB injection. Add that to our cheat table and we can edit it later. This will be step two and we don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. So let's go ahead and find out what addresses this instruction access is. So let's get hit ourselves. so that works. Let's hit each of them. Yeah, so as in the shared code hooking uh, step in the previous tutorial, the same thing, the same instruction here, the same function deals with damaging our player as well as both enemies. And we don't want to die, right? We don't want our character to take any damage. So just like before, we will right click them, dissect the data structures. Yes, okay, let this do its thing. And We'll again, find a value that is, for our player, it's one thing, and for both computers, it is something different, but the same between the two of them. So looking through here quickly, all these green ones mean they're the same. None of those. These don't seem to be it. Maybe this one. I'm not exactly sure what those are. Probably an X and a Y coordinate. Yeah, so you can see when we fly around, that changes. And we know they're coordinates won't change because they can't actually move, but there's no point using those because I don't want to do a compare for that value unless we have to, but we can find something easier, I'm sure. So if we go down to here, 68, that's our health and that's probably their health, so that's no good. This one here, 100 and 200. That looks like it's probably our max health. We could do this one here as well, 0, 1, 1, probably player, computer, computer. Let's go with player, computer, computer. Let's try 70. So just like the previous ones, we will close this. We can minimize that for now. We want to modify our step two script. And again, we can do label, call it kill again. Want to kill. I'm just going to copy everything they do. And instead of subtracting that, we can change subtract to a move. And we just want to move, again, 0 into RAX plus 60. 60 is the health. And then we just copy the rest of the instructions so we don't totally break anything. And from here, we can comment that out. No point hurting our own player at all. And just like the shared code hooking, we want to do CMP bracket RAX plus, so if health is 60, we want to compare it to 70, and that's hex 70. And we want to compare it to 1. Jump if equal to kill. So when this script is activated, every time that instruction gets called. So whenever someone takes damage, it'll check and see if this is a one. If it is, it'll jump to kill, which then moves zero into their health, returns, and that's it. 
If it's not, it will. So if it's our player, it'll skip over this instruction and just continue execution like normal. So we will have God mode and both the enemies will immediately die. Let's see. Why does that not work? Oh, whoops. There we go, forgot a space there. So let's rename this one because I think it is God mode plus insta kill. Let's actually, we can delete that because we don't need to keep track of it alone. We'll turn that on and see what happens if we get hit. So we don't take any damage now. Let's fly up here, shoot him, and the bullet just goes right through him, kills him both instantly. So that's our step two god mode. Um, yeah, join me in the next one where we get to play with some collision detection and flying around or easy movement, that kind of stuff.